All right. I also have on this uh, little web server an installation of WordPress. So this is a dump of my poor, sad blog. Um, it looks better on the web. This, I don't use the skin, thankfully. <laughs> but uh, WordPress is a beast. Uh, if, if you've ever used it, uh, you know that you need to uh, do a, a fair number of tweaks to it to survive a slash dotting or a digging or a, even a Facebooking, <laughs> depending on <laughs> what, you're, what kind of machine you're running your box on. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's great software, but as it turns out, it, uh, it has a few things that you need to change about it out of the box to improve its scalability. So we're going to create a uh, xdebug output here, uh, and the trigger uh, in xdebug to create a, a grind file is to put the query string value xdebug profile with no value. It runs, creates that. That's a random image that changes every time it goes up. That's that deal. And uh, let's have another look at our grinds. Okay, there's our grind file. This one takes a little while, it's pretty beefy. So it took about 2.3 seconds to load that index page with uh, about 10 blog entries in there. And let's sort things by the most, ex we're already sorted by the most expensive functions uh, added, uh, added up by all the times they were executed. It looks like apply filters is pretty expensive. Uh, sanitized post, a bunch of, uh, you see more colors here, a bunch of functions. Uh, WordPress is highly procedural because it needs to be PHP 4 compatible. Um, but it does, as you see here in the green, have some uh, objects built in there. Uh, not a lot. Uh, so mostly looks like templating and output stuff, which is reasonable. I mean, it's a CMS. Uh, let's have a look at this in kcache grind and uh, see what's really going on. So I love kcache grind because things get real pretty in a hurry the more complicated your project gets. And uh, this is a separate pane down here, but I, you can look at these blocks and they're they're organized uh, hierarchically, of course. So you can see that this overall rectangle here is a pretty big chunk of the processing. This one's a pretty big chunk. This one, but what's this over here? Uh, anytime you see a large chunk of solid color, that took a long time, and it's, it may be worth looking into. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so what we're doing here is it looks like we're loading the config file. Uh, Kcache grind is actually pretty stinking powerful. Let's have a look at the source code that I executed there. And line by line, what this does is tells us how much uh, execution time. Right now it's telling us the percentage of the absolute execution time that each line took. So just executing this PHP file took 55% of this entire uh, blog page load. Uh, scrolling down here, you can see which lines are more expensive. Uh, PREG match was one of the more expensive lines in this file. They have a timer that appears to take a decent chunk of time. Ironic. Uh, they're looks like they're instantiating their database, and that's probably the most expensive call so far. Uh, so this is a very valuable tool. Uh, I think if you run this on any one of your pages, you can see you can op optimize one, maybe two lines right off the bat, uh, find better ways to do one of the things you're doing. And so it's, it's easy to make fun of WordPress, but uh, it, WordPress also makes a really great demonstration of just how powerful this Kcash grind tool is. Uh, so we've looked at the um, pyramid there. Let's now look at the call graph, which I think is actually the best part of Kcash grind. So what we have here is a visual map of the entire call world of uh, this script. And it breaks down uh, with that little tiny bar there showing you how much execution time uh, each node took. And if you follow it through this way, it looks like 
most of the execution time was, con or much of the execution time was consumed by this themes loader file. So let's take a look at that. So by double clicking that, they made it appear in the Kali map on top. And we're seeing a lot of the stuff we saw before. Apply filters, uh, if I mouse over just the right point here. We can use the call, uh, the call graph down below to see where I clicked. OK, so that's apply filters, this one's uh, sidebars, whatnot. So WordPress spends uh, a lot of time, of course, building the display out for you. Uh, there's no caching whatsoever running on this server, so uh, every single page load uh, sends you through this whole process. If you install uh, the basic WordPress caching plugin, a lot of the stuff goes away, which is really nice. Uh, but that's that, that's an illustration of uh, the sort of things you can do with a K-cache grind tool. Uh,